going on, are we? What's going on? The tires are really dark. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. okay, this is new. Well, <laughs> it's dark. That was a bit of a rush. <laughs> oh, it's very dark. Oh, that's probably why we get these clutches. It's the settings. Oh. I know. So we get that. Yeah, I know. Okay, right, that's good. <laughs> this is the first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, we need to like the death noise. So where are we? I don't know, I don't know. Wow, it was just getting to dusk when we when we jumped into Radist. Yeah, we were in there for that long. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway. Like a kind of woody area. I don't know. <laughs> what you done? Done. Done. Well, move unicorn. Let's go. So what's that? An alien pain cone? I don't know, I can't see. There we go. It might be. A root cone. No, it's an alien pine cone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it looks like this is a road going into the woods. If you can even see the road. Well, at least we get kitted out with the right gear for doing this walk. Yeah, no kidding. Radis are getting awfully convenient. <laughs> no camping, no fire. No camping, no fires, eh? That's a good one. This. It's a bear and a unicorn. It's so dark. This is very dark. There's a car coming. Lights off. Well, I'll look into the bush. Well, at least, at least we know that it's not going to be a bit wild and scary if there's cars coming down from there, there must be. Sorry? I thought I had something. It's just a can. I think the unicorn's going crazy. She's hearing things that aren't there. Possibility you get deer here. <laughs> Foxes. <laughs> but then, we'll, we'll see We'll see where we are when we get up here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, we alighted back there. We alighted out of Radist. We did. Please mind the gap we're alighting from is Radist. <sighs> Interestingly, the only place that you see that word alight or alighting or alighted and its tense, different tenses is on trains. That's exactly what I was going to say. Who else uses that word? Please mind the gap we're alighting <laughs> from this train. Yeah, and it's usually we like. Where did you get off the train? You don't go, where did you alight from the train? Did you say where did you get off? <laughs> Although I suppose it isn't, I suppose it isn't professional to please mind the gap when getting off of this train. To someone's point of view, otherwise that wouldn't be a, a thing they use. Yeah, uh, there's some nice, nice coloured lights over there. I'll keep going round anyway. Yeah. Oh well, I'm oh. for these for the moment then. Oh, right. Unicorn can't figure out whether hers is on the You okay there, Unicorn? Yeah, just there's plenty of street lights up there, so I don't need this head torch that mysteriously appeared on my head anymore. I'm not putting mine away. What about you, Yuck? You okay? I can keep it in my pocket. I'll take it out again if I need to. I'm fine too. You know, there's this stereotype that people like the Unicorn do things weirdly. 
convenient for them, but it makes no sense to anybody else, and this is an example of that. Exactly. Putting the light away when she can just keep it on her head and use it later. Yeah, uh, she's <laughs> taking the light off her head completely. Yep. <laughs> All signs of life. All signs of life. <laughs> it was just that one. I think I know where we are. Where are we? It was just that one. Oh, nice, just that one. Oh my goodness. Twinkly lights. To the tower. Drum Kennen. Drum Kennen's tower. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so we're having a Drum Kennen Bay nighttime adventure. That way you go out to it takes you to where the maids first. You pass. The maid? Yeah, the actual. Did you happen to mean the maid of watch? Park. It's not watch by the way, it's lock. I'm the map. Here's the map, here's the map. Here's the map. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wee reference to Dora yeah. the Explorer. Yeah. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> we don't know if she's on YouTube or not. She is. Is she on YouTube? A little yak used to watch Dora the Explorer. A little yak used to watch many things. That's an inaccurate picture of the maid of watch. Watch, 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 watch. We're here. Well, you, might, the... you might be there, but I'm here. <laughs> no, but that's what ah. happened to the square the shopping mall um, and the the park for the rest of it. Yeah. So, up this way, it'll take us to the slipway. Got us, actually. Ah, you've got That's fine. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Put our lights on just now so that we can see. See you going across there. So that you can see a wee bit more going across the car park. We can see fine when we walk yeah. along here because we've been along here a few times in the dark and it's nice. <coughs> I was expected. Water's up a wee bit. The amber light behind us, well behind me, anyway, is the marina over here. Cameron Hurst on the other side of the lock. So we can see that. Can you hear the water? Still want to go out too far. She signed up. Go. Run. Yeah, and especially due to the fact that you're not a naked nymph in the water. Oh no, yes, not that. Yes, I don't have any naked water nymphs here. I don't want to be a naked water nymph. I'm a unicorn. Same thing. Must be getting cold because they'll get getting kind of heavy. Yeah. To the point that it's actually floating down rather than yeah. off the water like you. Right, on he's gone. Okay. 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 Off. We've put the lights off. Yeah. Because there's quite often a whole, uh, maybe a hundred, hundred plus ducks and geese and all sorts of things. Yeah, and the unicorn's rambling because she's dead. Can you hear that? You might not be able to hear it because it's night time, but if you happen to be out at night, like us, a wee bit later on, and you come up with here for a walk in the dark, or if you just visit him, you come along. If you do come along this part, you should be careful because there are lots of ducks all along. You may even be able to see some in the back. He's right there. I doubt it. In front of the light. Right. They'll come up here to sleep. You could drink the water by all means, but it needs to be very quiet so that you don't disturb them. Don't go down the water, you'll disturb them. If you come up with your dog, I would suggest that you keep it on the lead because there are swans out there as well. And if a dog goes down and starts causing a rammy, it's been known for swans to peck a dog's eye out or break its leg with its wing or something like that. So if you do bring a dog, come up by all means, but just be careful. For those of you who are unaware, a rammy is an altercation or a fight. Nino Corn using slime on you again. <laughs> so, there you go. Well, they seem to be very quiet tonight. The swans and the ducks up here can cause a right rammy when one another. You should hear the noise when they do. It's something else. They're yes. having one right now. Okay. A a they seem to be very quiet to me for some reason. Maybe they're all sweet.
Yeah, I'll listen to them now. Yeah, can you hear them now? They're announcing our presence. Ah, that sounds a lot of warning, yeah. I think they noticed it right here. Well, we can see them right along the shoreline. There's... I'm not going to count them. Not many. Not as many as, uh, as, as uh, reported before from some people, but, you know, yeah. different numbers. I don't know, but I've heard stories of hundreds or more of the geese and ducks and things lying on the shore. Yeah. Geese turning the, turning the shoreline white and the whole hillside up to the path. That's, that's during daylight as well. Yeah. It's a nice place for a walk. If you happen to be in a B&B in the uh, Balloch area or surrounds at Loch Lomond and you're thinking of something to do after you've maybe had a nice meal or something you walk up you rarely see anybody up here nobody will bother you come out and enjoy yourself just have a, a gentle wander enjoy the look at the water it's, it's like a mirror just like many places that we've visited. Either you've been in the B&B for a meal or you've been flirting the most ends. Either. <laughs> Alright. Well, I won't inquire who Adrian is and what Adrian's been up to. At least <laughs> you was, already know. At least it's only a little bit of flirting. Aye, aye. Adrian. Aye, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, the way I see it, Adrian, if it's not harming anybody, how else are you going to get the girl or the woman? Exactly. Too many, that's a wee bit of a segue here, but too many young men are afraid of approaching a woman yeah. of, of their own age. What's the point of being scared? They say no, they say no, but you don't need to approach it in silly ways. You can even just, approach it looking for a friend. Yeah, just say hello. She smiles at you. She likes you. She tells you to go and do one, or words to that, that effect. <laughs> you, know, you know, just go away. Public display of affection. Yeah. <laughs> I love my yacht. Me too. Where are we, Unicorn? This is. Um, Some place. Retail Crescent, as far as I'm aware. Unicorn's gone. I think, oh, I think go. it's called Retail Crescent. I can't even remember. That there is from Cannon Tower. Shut. Right, let's go and see then. That's a wee play pack. Oh yeah. It's not a very good one, but yeah. the spell be play pack. Play park. Dragonstein. Speaking, of, speaking of good ones, the beer made a fun. See. See one. <laughs> let's go see. See. Because <laughs> that's the... That's the... Right, so I don't think we actually showed you this part of Drumkinnon Bay when we did our first Drumkinnon Bay video but this is the retail centre this is actually Loch Lomond Shores itself and you've got I'm not going to tell you what the shops are but there's lots of shops lots of them and quite often the bit that we're just walking over quite often has lots of uh, 
Market stalls? Market stalls. Oh, market stalls are dead ahead of us usually. But here we usually have fairground activities where they have like well, little, little rides for the, crests the, the and children. Crepes and Unicorn's Chicken got a habit of talking over the top of me. And really everyone, because she, <laughs> she does that. She, she can't can't help it. It's just the way she is, she can't help it. Okay. She gets so excited and wants to talk, 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 talk. Yep. Right, okay, right. There you go, folks. The other side of the tower and the entrance into Loch Lomond Sea Life Centre. Have we been in? Have I've we been, been in? Have we been in, Unicorn? Have we I've been, been in, yes. Unicorn and I have been in, is the deal for me. Right, we really won't say anything about it. We won't tell you what our experience is and what our, what we think of it. We'll leave that to yourself. Um, up top, they've got a nice restaurant, cafe type thing. You see the windows up the top there. The Octonauts have visited. Ah, the Octonauts have visited and we've come up to see the Octonauts <laughs> when the we were a lot younger and the yak was small. <laughs> but but yes. small. Yeah, there's where the bow high went for his spin. Ah, oh, over there at the outcrop. You won't be able to see it. That's the promontory. That's where we let him out. Yeah. Think they could swim. Right, so where we're facing now is actually towards Ben Lomond. You won't see it, obviously, because it's night time and it's dark. Unless you get the brightest torch in the world. Yeah, and there's a bit of uh, cloud. And there's some boats. Uh, pedal boats. Pedalos. Two and, I think it's two and four. Four people pedalos. Along with the other things that you get in there, we've already explained them. And over there is the pier to Loch Lomond Loch Cruises. Loch Lomond Cruises and Sweeney's. And Sweeney's, and, um, which is another another before. pier for Sweeney's. They both leave from here. Anyway, it's, it's even nice just coming up here and standing about for a wee while and just relaxing for 10 minutes, even at night. And... If you look up there, well, if you're looking up there anyway, <laughs> where the green and blue lights are, green, blue and mauve, pink, purple, it's actually a restaurant. And what's it called, Jack? What? What's the restaurant called? Uh, Jurassic something or other. Right, it's Jurassic something or other, we can't exactly remember. What's it like inside? Um, mm, don't know. I've we... come up before when the shutters were up and I've managed to see a big T-Dex through the Yeah, so that's that's all the knowledge you're getting about the brands that are up here because we just felt like that and we don't want to do any more because they're not paid. Anyway, this is the Walking Wanderers wishing you a... Healthy. Happy. And a prosperous... New Year.